Welcome everybody to Carver's Twigs, a bird of the day. Well, have we got ourselves a bird for you today. This is one of those birds. They're the best birds in the worst category of birds. So what's the worst category of birds? Obviously water birds. We got a good water bird today. We got a cute water bird today it's a good water bird so the best kind of water bird well it's it's not exactly a family it's um it's not really a genus either because there's multiple genuses that go by this name um but the family includes things like swans and geese but the genus is multiple i'm talking about a duck and i'm talking about the common merganser a merganser yeah so the weird thing is that like ducks are not a family within waterfowl they're like part of the family that includes swans and swans and geese. Um, but then like duck isn't a genus either. There's multiple genuses that ducks fall within. And so like ducks are kind of a weird category because there's not really a taxonomical category for duck. But the merganser? Oh, merganser is a good duck. Look, um, we got a male and a female right here. Female on the left, male on the right. So pretty different coloration. This is typical with a lot of birds. So let me tell you a little bit more about the common merganser. So they are typical duck size, which is about 23 to 28 inches long. With a 30 to 38 inch wingspan. And they're going to weigh about, you know, about 2 to 4 pounds. About 2 to 4 pounds. And I, you know, you know, when you're in the pound range rather than the ounce range, that's heavy for a bird. And, uh, you know, pretty good lifespan. They are 11 to 12 years old. Well, we got, we got some babies there. Look at all those cute little babies. So, yeah, and seraphorms, they sell waterfowl. And a tidy day. Or, that's, that's, that's got geese and swans and all ducks. But uh, the merganser, there's actually several different species of merganser. And they're all in the mergus genus. Uh, but this is the most common of them by far. Hence why they're called the common merganser. And so they're the Mergus merganser. So they're actually uh, probably a bird where their uh, their taxonomical name is very close to their common name. It's just uncommon. Unlike the boa constrictor, which is the only animal where the scientific and common name are the same. That's interesting. But merganser's close. Merganser's close. And be like, hey, Twig, where can I find a merganser? And I'll say the Northern Hemisphere. So, as you can see, they are migratory ducks. And uh, so, uh, they're going to be in... Uh, they kind of like the cold regions in the summer. So, you're going to find them mostly in Canada and Scandinavia and Siberia in, in the summertime. But it looks like they do kind of dip down there into the Kazakhstan mountains. They all kind of like it there in the summertime. And uh, then they are going to hang out kind of, you know, those dark green areas. You're going to find them year-round. So uh, kind of, it's kind of interesting in the Himalayas. They like to hang out in the Himalayas year-round, uh, Pacific Northwest year-round, all the way up through the coast uh, in Canada and Alaska there. You're going to find them in uh, New England. And yeah, and in the summertime, a lot of them are going to go down south, so e most of the U.S. And then you know, those uh, light blue areas, uh, that's where you're only going to see them during migratory season. So where I live, Minnesota, uh, I don't really see too many mergansers. I might see them a bit in the fall and the spring as they're passing through, but that's about it. Uh-oh. Hi. I've been joined by a bull. How you going? I'm talking about mergansers. Ooh. They're ducks. They're this cool ducks. They are. I'm talking about how you can find them all around the world, as long as you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Now that's where I am. Yay! And as you can see, they don't really like desert areas. Um... True. But yeah, true. you'll uh, you'll find mergansers down round bouts where you live in the uh, in, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Or wait, no, in the winter time. In the winter time, it's non breeding season. They breed like most ducks. They're gonna breed kind of in March, April area. You know, maybe into May, but they're they're April. They're April breeders. So let me tell a little bit about them. I think one of the coolest things about mergansers are their beaks they got cool beaks so they got long pointy beaks that hook down at the end 
and the inside of the beaks um they don't have teeth but the uh you know the, the you know the bottom part of the, their top beak and the upper part of their lower beak are serrated lots of little tiny sharp serrations uh and because of that they have been nicknamed as sawbills because their beaks are kind of like saws so like you know you ever been bit by a mallard or something and it's like ah that tickles and then he got bit by a merganser. That would probably hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm when have you been bitten by a mallard? Yeah, you ever been bit by a mallard? Oh, dude, you haven't lived. Ah, apparently I have not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah so uh, they, uh, you know, obviously they are, they are carnivorous birds for the most part. And they like to eat, uh, eat little fishies and little slippery stuff that's uh, in the water. So obviously that serrated beak and that uh, hook at the end lets him bite down and get a good grip on those wet, slippery little fellas because it's all about grip. It's not about rip. It's all about grip. That's what they do. Um, and these guys are actually very communal flock birds, help each other out, and uh, they hunt in groups. So what they'll do is uh, in an area where they see like lots of minnows and other like small fish they go from, They'll like form a semicircle and just kind of like, you know, do a little dives and, and, and then they'll, they'll like push that semicircle and make it tighter and tighter and push in towards the shore so that all the fish get scared of the ducks. But then they get trapped against the shore in this circle of ducks and then the ducks can all feed because the little fishies got nowhere to go. And so cooperatively, they're able to work together to catch more fish. And I think that's pretty smart and pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of behavior that, like, you know, they talk about, like, dolphins doing and stuff. And it's like, oh, wow. Merganser, making yourself up there for one of the smartest ducks out there. Yeah. Who would have thought a waterfowl could have any kind of intelligence? Even a broken clock, right? Yeah, even a broken clock. Yeah. Um, but uh, one one issue that these guys do is that uh, they have issues with other fish-eating birds. And a lot of times, if they get themselves a good-sized fish caught... Uh, a, a gull or an eagle will swoop down and try and steal it from him. He's, that's mean. Mean. I mean, gulls we all knew are nasty, but we also talked about eagles about a week ago for the 4th of July episode. We're talking about how eagles frequently steal fish from other birds. Well, this is one of those other birds. That was mean. Mean. Yeah, gulls are total jerks. Eagles are total mm -hmm. jerks. You get to catch your own fish. These guys are excellent hunters, and they get your food stolen by bigger birds. It's, it's not right. It's not right. People deserve their own catch. Yeah, don't bully the boat mom. Yeah, this is pretty cute, isn't it? The boat mommy. I love, I love watching ducklings ride on the back of their mothers. It's, it's yeah. really cute. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, now, one interesting thing about uh, Cam Crow Boy, that's right. Someone said birds. We got our bird of the day, and yes, it's the common merganser. Um... But yeah, <laughs> most ducks that you see, they're either going to prefer salt water or fresh water. Uh, these guys, they don't they don't give a crap. They'll take either. They will take either. And so they're frequently seen in both of them. Uh, so, you know, like especially in the Pacific Northwest, they'll kind of hang out in all those, you know, lakes and stuff that are in the woods. But then they'll just as happily fly over to the Pacific Ocean and do some hunting and fishing there. So they, they're not picky. This is very interesting. Salt and fresh water. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you want to add a little salty seasoning to your fish. Can't blame them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would do that. I'd do that. Uh, another interesting thing is they have a cool uh, defense mechanism where if they're, like, eating a bunch and they're full and they're kind of, you know, chewing and digesting and a predator comes after them, they'll be like, I need to make myself lighter. And they will vomit up everything they just ate to make themselves lighter and fly away. Just like me. Yeah, just like you. Yeah, Wait, you yeah. did that? Sure, I thought, why not? I thought you just vomited stuff up so you could chew your cud more and then swallow it again easier for digestion. Well, that and also easier for me to fly. You know, I get lighter so the plane has more lift and stuff, you know. That's true. I mean, yeah. you're a big, giant torrent. I suppose yeah. any weight you can shed would help you on those little Cessnas. Every pound helps. Every pound helps. Uh, now, these, uh, these birds are only going to have one clutch per season. But they can have up to 17 eggs in a single clutch. And I tell you, mergansers, they do not mind raising a lot of babies. Um, now, the males, they, they kind of stick around and protect the nest while it's incubating. But once the babies are born, the males are just like, 
Later. I'm going to chill with my dudes. Kind of rude. So the mothers pretty much raise babies on their own. But not entirely on their own because female mergansers have known to uh, group up with other female mergansers. And then rather than just raising their own young, they make like a giant brood of like up to 40 little babies. And the mothers all take care of the whole group of them together. And I think that is pretty neat. That is great. Yeah, definitely. And, I like that. And uh, also, which is very common in merganser behavior, is if for some reason the mother mates an unfortunate end, another uh, female merganser will adopt her chicks. Hmm. And uh, there was uh, up in northern Minnesota a couple years ago, there was a single merganser female that had 87 chicks following her. Oh. There was no <laughs> other females around. And there's this one female merganser swimming around, and they counted 87 babies. Oh, my God. I, got, I, pick I mean, that's, that's like, I mean, and there's like, there was no way to tell how many of those were actually hers, but uh, not a small percentage of them. But she's like, these babies need a mama, and I'm going to step up to the job. And, uh, and it's good. You know, who knows how many of them survived the year, but, you know, it's just nice that they were able to cluster up and you know you know family's what you make family's what mm -hmm. you make yeah. when i see a video of summer gansers i'm gonna play a video of summer gansers yeah. let's do it god damn it why does it always do that okay so, uh, as you can see we got uh many mergansers here so we got the males with the black and white coloration and the females with the uh these kind of silverbacks and the uh, you know, they kind of look like silver and gold. It's very pretty coloration. I actually, I actually kind of think the females are prettier than the males. But boy, I do love the male. I do love a good black and white bird. They're like, although as you can see there, as the light hits it, it's not truly black. It's actually a very dark green, and it's kind of a iridescent emerald green. It's a pretty, pretty color. Uh, darker, darker than a mallard's green head. Hmm. Yeah, he's uh ducks swimming around and uh supposedly was taken in the spring and a lot of these males are like one smash i want smash becky let me smash hey good times hey it's good times so yeah i gotta say um the merganser oh might be uh might be my favorite duck i mean don't get me wrong mallards are pretty cute but the merganser, they got some pretty cool and fun and interesting stuff about them. A lot more interesting to me than the mallard. And they have the kind of smart behavior, really great flock behavior. I mean, I think I'm, I, I, I might be willing to label the common merganser as my favorite waterfowl. I, 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 it, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a generous title. Trust me, folks. That's a generous title coming from me. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, well the thing is. True. Is waterfowl aren't these like gulls and petrels are not fowl. They're water birds, but they're not fowl. And uh, yeah, the community raising of the chicks is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really sweet. Um, yeah, as far as water birds go, it's like there's a lot of different orders of birds that you know, because you know, petrels, albatrosses. Albatrosses are probably my favorite water bird, but they're not fowl. You know, they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Petrels, garbage birds. Gulls, garbage birds. Mm -hmm. um, I think the ibis is a water bird. I gotta do an ibis at some point. I've kind of been saving that for a collab with an Australian. Do we know any Aussies? I know a couple, but mm -hmm. not enough. I don't think I know them well enough to collab with them. Oh, we should work on that. I should work on that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. what do you think about the Merganzer Bentai? Very cool. I definitely I love the, the the tufted head of the females there, and then and then even even with the, the males, the the striking the red bill really kind of uh, yeah. plays nicely. Very cool little, little bird. Especially eighty seven chicks. That's, that's eighty seven no, chicks. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Good lord. Uh, I want none chicks. I can barely handle a pet rock. Yeah. Well. No. We all know what happened to. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it it, it it kept pebbling in the corner. What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, it's just this. Yeah. But yeah, Merganser, great duck. We like the ducks.
Mm-hmm. Now this is my third duck. I've done I've done the common merganser, I've done the mallard, and I've done the smew. And uh yeah, I'm gonna say common merganser, my favorite duck. But who knows? I could research another species. I haven't done wood ducks yet. Wood ducks are pretty cool. They're they're really pretty looking. So yeah, mm. look forward to wood ducks at some point. But we're gonna call this bird of the day completed. <laughs>